Hi, um, my name is Danu Amar Singh. I work as the country coordinator for Educate Lanka Foundation. It's a US-based uh, charity organization, it's a social startup, social enterprise, who seeks to support underprivileged, high potential students across Sri Lanka. Uh, currently, we have a portfolio of around 500 students to whom we support um, financially as well as in mentorship and skills development. So um, I'm really happy I made this trip today. Uh, it's, it's not an easy trip. It's a long way from Kandy. I think it took like close to five hours to come here and uh, in a really wind down road. But uh, really didn't uh, expect uh, to see the center being quite well organized and um, how uh, Janaka being quite energetic and working uh, working his his hours here. Um, one of the main things I I mean I was. I was put into an activity as soon as I came here, so I think that was really great because I was able to literally see how the students are performing here. And because Janaka uses different models to kind of like um, teach or train these students, and not really following a tuition class model or not really following a uh, training model, but he, he, he seems to be uh, capturing what the students really want to do and what the students really where, where their interests and uh, in a, and their potentials lying and trying to capitalize on that so the activity that I was able to take part was to just uh, give them a sentence and uh, ask them to reply to that and I was really surprised to see the results the, the answers these students uh, who are based in a place like Hinguru Kadu are giving and their English how they're using the language the prepositions the commas the apostrophes and uh, they were really interesting. I mean, they they, they, they speak very well. Uh, they they are confident. I mean, I'm I'm bringing in experience from over 500, 600 students, uh, Educate Lanka funds in similar contexts, and I didn't see this much of uh, exposure into English that they are carrying in. And um, so I'm very happy. I mean, I can see that Janak is working really hard. They only have four staff here, and uh, everybody is very committed, uh, sincerely committed. I mean, Janaka's house is actually being transformed into a small school a center and. Uh, I think that's what it's needed uh, to make an impact, to make a social change. I think you have to be sincerely committed and I really see that and I really hope uh, this model works out. I really hope that Educate Lanka Foundation will be able to find a good collaboration. I really wish well to all the teachers, all the trainers and the students and Janaka all the best. Thank you.